Ethiopia and other parts of Sub-Saharan Africa, women and children walk up to six hours to collect water. Water privatisation is used as shorthand for private sector participation in the provision of water services and sanitation. So basically, water privatisation is the sale of water by privately owned companies which sell water where it is not readily available. the show. We're blessed to have you here today. How are you this morning? I'm good, thank you, Abby. That's good. So today we have you on the show to talk about water privatisation, mainly in Africa and third world countries. So, what are the causes of water privatisation? Well, the main cause is the lack of available clean water to people in third world countries. So companies sell them so they have the ability to be able to buy this water. Yes, it's very sad. So, what are some of the effects, mainly on the people in these countries? Well, the rates for water privatisation can increase and get really high, so people can't afford it, and this means that they will have to either drink unclean water and unsafe water supplies, or they just go without because they cannot afford it. There is also the um, job losses, with people losing their jobs that used to work for government, government supplied water companies but now it's private sector so jobs are lost and also the, it's hard to um, it's hard to not have corruption in the system which means that people can pay off governments so the water quality is undermined and can lead to bigger issues in the future. Yes, yes, this is a very big issue. So, I was wondering, were there lots of issues on the environment with this water privatisation? Well, not, not any big issues or effects. I think that it does increase the use of dirty water and because of the poor sanitation, sanitation that people cannot afford to pay for during the privatisation, the local areas do, the water supplies do get tainted by the human rights. Yes, well, that is about all we have time for on the show today. Thank you very much for coming in, Olivia, and talking about work privatisation. We, we're very blessed to have you today. Thank you. We understand that many individuals cannot afford to pay for our services, but we cannot alter the tariffs that need to be paid for our water provision because they also include the aspects of our project that we need to take into account, like the cost of running this corporation and the prices are suited to more developed areas within Africa. We understand that the people who cannot afford our services are the most in need, but we have to think on the larger scale, including ourselves, and our other clients. African people cannot afford the water provided from the company stakeholders, so they are forced to collect their water from natural resources like this lake, contaminated with all sorts of diseases from animal feces and human waste. This causes young children, like Sam here, to get sick and die. This is Gladys. Every morning, Gladys has to wake up early, before the sun rises, to start the day cleaning and cooking meals for her two younger siblings. Gladys struggles to bathe herself with no screening or protection from the public eye. But even before Gladys can do all of this, her day starts with walking. Miles and miles, through dangerous jungle and plains, to collect dirty water from a pool, a little like this one. Gladys then has to collect what little water she can carry and start the long journey home again. To help with the issue of water privatisation, you can raise awareness, cut back on your water wastage and also sponsor a child so they have money to pay for the tariffs. 